that time only, if you are a man, the wife will come and ask, our milk all asks for 10,000 rupees to purchase a cow, he says you can take it in installments, a fellow whose address also you do not know, and he remains quiet. She says, oh, it is written, Mauna means consent. She goes and gives 10,000, the fellow does it come the next day. Doesn't matter. Let it be. It doesn't matter. You, are, you should be prepared to undergo any losses if you want. And tell them, don't come and disturb me. No cell phones anywhere near. And know this thing. Absolutely, I will have my meals. I will come quietly, place everything. I will put for myself and that's all. You can read some Ramayana or any books of uh, Abhin Bhaktas. Or you can do your chapa, you can do your meditation, you can simply, simply sitting without any thoughts. Like that. So you can do anything, but you have to be on mouth. Do it once, one day in a month, say on a Sunday. That's all. Even if you can't do for full day, first time you start morning 6 to 12, because he goes away, so morning time is okay. From 12 to 7 or 12 to 8, I am not going to talk. So evening nobody will come to you to talk. It will be on mouth. But don't have it at night time. I did it from 10 to 5. <laughs> <laughs> so there is no use. It is automatic for you. So do it at a time. Then everybody will come and disturb you. So this is one of the, uh, one of the easy methods I have seen. One is prayers. Prayers are got more effect than even meditation that I have seen. So 100% prayer because Without the grace of God, nothing can be achieved. Even when you are born, the self has already provided food for you. It has already provided all the equipment for you. And that's why you survive. So, God has made all arrangements and then as if you are a VIP, you have been brought. So, remember that. So, there is the one. Then, another thing is, every day morning, as a householder, one thing everybody can do, it's very helpful. Morning you get up. Sit down on the bed immediately. Don't go to the bathroom to wash your face. Why? Now as soon as you got up, you only, the first thought which came back to your mind, throughout the night no thoughts. First thought which came to your mind was, I am Girija. Then, if you go to the bathroom, oh today 10 o'clock my chacha will be, I have to go to the, uh, 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 to the city station to bring him. Oh, today at 4 o'clock the seminar is there. I have not prepared for it anything. I have to take some notes. Oh my Lord, today there is also a sports event where I have to distribute the prices. The entire world will come to you. So, do not go anywhere. There is the only time. Otherwise, no japa should be done on your bed. Never sit on anybody's bed when you go on visits. Because it contains that man's vibration. Plus he sleep. So you have got enough tamaguna yourself. Why do you want to borrow from the other man? So never, never sit on other beds. That is one. You can sit on the floor if you don't get a chat. So this is one thing. So on your bed also, if you sit, the uh, tamaguna will come to you again. So you should sit in a place where you can alert. But in this case, sit immediately like this straight. And then you chant Om eleven times. How to chant Om? Om chant be chanted from the navel. Om, like the roar of a tiger. Sadhula Rutavati. It is all given in the Shiksha as to how everything should be pronounced in Sanskrit for Om specially. And you can pronounce it from the lungs. Always we talk only from the lungs. So you can say Om. Or you can say Keki Nadavati, like a peacock, or what you call Sarigamapa, the Ni Nishada. So, Om. So it doesn't come from here, it doesn't come, it comes from here. But for our purpose of sadhana, it should come from here. <coughs> Sit down, don't tell Om in such a way that all your neighbors get up at 3 o'clock and come in, what's the matter? <laughs> so tell it fairly loudly. Oh. Give an interval 
give you a pause and then start Om. give a pause give an interval of half a minute why this half a minute interval is given <coughs> when once you chant Om, even for the first time you will immediately get a peace of mind anybody can experiment even now he can experiment the moment you tell you get an immense peace remain drowned in that peace if so sir why half a minute why not half an hour you cannot thoughts will come this has been the optimum time up to which no thoughts will come so you can remain in that so like that 11 times when you do you get such an accumulation of energy a reservoir of energy which you can use in any times of energy, emergency when you do not know what to do. Oh my Lord, I know what to do. I am alone. Huh? My husband has got to an accident. So uh, who will go there here? The child is to come in the evening. To whom will I hand over the key? I don't know my neighbor. I come and leave uh, there are two weeks back. So you will be, you will be, you'll not know like you will feel like uh, I mean clutching the hand and tearing it off. So in all those times, you will be very calm. You will be able to decide beautifully this energy which you accumulate will help. Apart from that, this energy is a part of the divine energy. When you accumulate it, it will help you in quietening your mind when you try to meditate. Always concentrate on that. Otherwise, the mind will be going here and there. You think it's not easy. People would hear, Ram, 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 Ram. The mind will go to Chicago. <laughs> My grandson, whenever he comes in, he says, I will only sleep with party. No, no, I won't sleep with you. That's a lovely boy. I don't know what he's doing. Go on, think of something. This is gone. Your japa is gone. Then you will, mm, rub, 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 rub. So, it will be that initially. But every time it comes, you just say, out, out, out. When you are aware that's a thought, you will try to get out. So, first day you will have to do it 200 times. Don't worry. It is like, when you are sitting here, a child of yours is there, a small child, three months old or um, four months old, it is trying to crawl. I don't know in what it crawls, so it crawls. It goes there, it will fall down the veranda, down below. You will be watching it with one eye and hearing satsanga. If you bring it forcibly and begin to cry, all the satsanga will be gone. So you will quietly go, take the child and come back and keep it here. Within another five minutes, it will again go. You will bring it back. So in the same way, you, whenever the child grows, the mind goes, you bring it every time, every time. Within two years exactly, many people, including Jagrishta Murthy, have avowed, as well as Vimala Thakkar, that there will be only five to ten thoughts in the course of two years. Continuing for the six months, all the thoughts will go, you will get the Mani Bhava, you will not get Samadhi state immediately. But you will, you will get all the previous state from which automatically you can lapse into the Samadhi state. So, these are all some small tips. And secondly, is, even though they don't have a direct relationship, when once we are on this path of self realization, we should have a little control over our food. Number one, we should not take a huge amount, it will only build up our flesh and Tamoguna will increase. So, our Shankara has written a book, five shlokas, what sadhanas we should do. It's called Sadhana Pachyama. So there, and Chinmaya Mishan has written a beautiful commentary there. And uh, there at one place he said, Truth, Vyadhishtha Jikishtha Hunger is a disease. So for a disease, how much medicine you will take? You will take so much. You will take only this one. So similarly, have only little food. Yes, and the food should not have. In anything, excess should not be there. Excessively sour. Excessively hot, full of chilies. Excessively full of uh, salt. Excessively full of madura. So all these excess should be avoided. It is all given in a chapter in Bhagavad Gita. It is very essential. So as far as possible, the food should be sattvic. And also, you should not take food from everybody's hand. 
Uh, uh, she has invited me, that girl has come only last month from Delhi. She said, tomorrow I am going there for me. Find out how, what sort of a nature she is. So immediately you don't go. Because we have got enough vibrations. Food is the one to which all the vibrations come very easily close. Food and clothes of others. So foods, when you take it, you should take from a pure hand. It's very easy. So these are also essential things. By the way, I was telling you about karma. The karmas are also essential. It is not that karmas are not bad. Karmas alone will not take you to God. And karmas are not the, a factor which directly lead to God's realization. But it is a subdelity. It can be, it does serve a purpose. I will tell you, if you somehow, your house is in a bad condition, somehow you go and persuade the president to come to your house, she says, yes, next month, 20th, I am going. Hey, write it down, the address you take. Now, within one week, one superintendent of police will be heading, a posse of secret security police will come, they will see your house and see. How many windows are there? How many police forces will be posted? Otherwise, somebody may shoot the president from somewhere. So for security purposes, how secure our house is, how many people are people, which are the sensitive spots, which are the strategic spots. Suppose you have got only tiles here, so anybody can come there and take away the tiles. So you should, some, a few people will be seeing the tiles. So where should they stand? So all these things he comes. He comes inside and says, hey, what sort of a shoddy house you are keeping? And you dare to ask the president to come? Look here, we are here for four days. It will be very neat and clean, completely rearranged that year. My wife has been dead five years back. My only son had been left me three days back. What can I do? What can you do? Come on, bring the, uh, uh, your broomstick. They will do it and go. <laughs> so, it's not very essential. Then you should do the karma. The karma all the Karma will got them by him. That's also that. You know, when your thing is very serious, it will be done. That is why it has not been considered as bhakti yoga other things, as one yoga. It is not considered as a yoga at all. Why it is considered yoga, I will tell you later. What is yoga? Yoga means to join. Now, you say when the bulb completely doesn't, uh, it doesn't burn, the bulb is fused. You mean it is repair, under repair, it, is, it, it cannot be used, is it not? Do you know the meaning of fuse? Fusing? To join. Can you fuse the two ends together? What is the purpose? It says gone bad, the tungsten element has gone away. You can't fuse it. So what do you mean by saying the bulb is fused? Actually the bulb doesn't fuse. The bulb is gone. The electricity cannot die. So what has happened to that electricity inside the bulb? That inside the bulb electricity joins with the totality there. So that is fusion. So it is the electricity which gets used and not the bulb. That's how it is. And when you say, oh, there are ten hands working. Hands are not working, there are ten men. So it is like that. That is that. So I think I have been able to cover only one. But many of these things have been covered. I will tell you a little about the Jeevan Mukti. As well as the Jeevan Mukti, you see, Mukti means self-realization. And what is self-realization? I told you to lose your individuality. 